This is basically the rank level 4 version of Sprite. In today's final video out of the new upcoming deck building set Crossover Breakers, we're looking at probably the most hyped and competitively viable off the gate archetypes of this set. And of course, it's Ryzeal. We're gonna be looking at Ryzeal today, and this is a Light Pyro and a Fire Thunder level 4 rank 4 archetype. This deck really relies on just extending like crazy. This is the cheapest, the cheapest most pushed rank 4 archetype I've seen so far, but honestly, it's kind of creative. It has so many good cards right off the bat that I'm not really sure what they're gonna do in wave 2, but we're just gonna have to wait. Razial cards assemble and deconstruct themselves to create new rank 4 monsters and with very simple one card combos and a ton of non-engine you know this is just gonna be a meta threat so again sit back and relax and enjoy turn on the bell for more videos like this subscribe to the channel and let's dive in to looking at the cards don't forget after this we're gonna be looking at a deck you can download and follow with a combo we will show at the end of this video so tune in lock in this is Ryzeal. So, all level 4 main deck monsters, and we currently have 5 of them, can special summon themselves using different abilities and can extend and search for other Ryzeal. So basically, one Ryzeal gets you to the rest of them. Ryzeal Ice can special summon a Ryzeal from deck on normal summon specifically. Ryzeal X can add one Fire Thunder from deck if all your monsters are level 4 or rank 4. Ryzeal Sword can add a Light Pyro, and Ryzeal Node can special special Ariseal from Graveyard. Lastly, we have Palma, which I don't think a lot of people are gonna play, that can send a level four from hand or deck to gain attack equal to an opponent's monster it battles. Now, in addition to that, we have the Ariseal Field Spell, and I think this is the most creative card out of this archetype, and one that is gonna make it very, very strong. The Ariseal Field Spell Cross can place two Ariseal from the graveyard to the bottom of the deck and draw one card, but this is not what makes it strong. Once per turn, when a monster effect is activated by your opponent, it can detach and exceed the material from a Ariseal you control to negate it on resolution, being able to negate effects that cannot be negated otherwise and without even activating an effect to lose to something like a Ghost Ogre. So, you have a way to spam a lot of monsters, you have a way to extend like never before, and you have a searchable field spell that can negate Nibiru. So, what else? We have, of course, the extra deck. We have Ryzeal Duo Drive, which is, of course, a rank 4 that can attach a Ryzeal from Graveyard on Summon and can detach two materials to add two different Ryzeal cards from deck. This is how you get to your field spell. And, of course, we have Detonator, the poster boy of this archetype, which can attach any monster from the Graveyard as material on Summon, protect your monsters from battle and destruction by detaching one, just like Dengirsu. But most importantly, guys, sit back. You're gonna wanna be sitting and grab a glass of water for this because this card can target one card on the field, detach a material and destroy it, and it's not once per turn. So this is basically three Zodiac Drydents in one card. So like in any rank four turbo deck, you're gonna have a lot of room from non-engine. So Dimension Shifter is a pretty solid option here alongside a lot of hand traps. But we have some interesting tech cards that are actually used as engine. We have seventh, Tachyon. This card is going to be released in the Light Expansion Pack, the one that released the Trickstar support and the Tachyon support. I don't know when it's going to come out in the TCG or in which set, but it's yet to be revealed. You can use 7th Tachyon to reveal a number Xyz monster between the numbers of 101 and 107, and then you add a monster from your deck with the same type and or attribute as that monster with a level equal its rank. So in Raziel, we're gonna be using number 104, Masquerade, and search for our starter, Ice Raziel. Since Masquerade is rank four, Ice Raziel is a level four, and they're both light, you can search it with 7th Tachyon. And this is gonna be another one of your starters. Now, this is again a rank four turbo, so you're gonna be using cards like Beguska, Dugaris, Giant Hand, Exiton Knight, Abyss Dweller, and of course, eventually, Zeus. And you can also tech in cards like Rafflesia, Trap Tricks Rafflesia, that can negate monster effects with Grave Dirkers Trap Hole directly from the deck. And use offensive spells like Xyz Import, to snatch up your opponent's monsters and turn them into Xyz materials. And now that we've seen all the cards and you pretty much know what this deck does, this is much less complicated than the other ones, we're gonna look at the deck that you can download in the link below so you can follow along in the combo portion of this video. So, 
Let's go check it out. Here we go. This is our Ryzeal deck. We're playing so many non-engine. Just because this engine is like so, so powerful, right? Tons of hand traps. And then 3x, 3 ice. Uh, we're playing 2 node and 3 sword. You can probably get away with playing 1 node, to be honest. Now, most importantly, what I did mention is that Bonfire is a starter here, right? You have light pyro monsters and, of course, Bonfire... You know this from a different deck, but that deck is not going to be alive forever. And we have the Field Spell and, of course, Seventh Tachyon, which is just a starter in this deck. You can probably run Crossout in this deck as well because you're playing so many non-engine spots. And every one-card combo you will see is so destructive. We're playing two Detonator, three Duo Drive, and then a plethora of Xyz Monsters, the best of the best. Karen Gorgon, we're playing Dugars, we're playing Baguska, Giant Hand, Exiton, Nath, Musquerade for the Seven Tachyon, Tornado Dragon, of course, Zeus, Aggregator, and uh, Dweller. You can actually send Aggregator with this uh, with one of the monsters here as cost from the deck to negate. And uh, yeah, download this. This is in the description below, of course, and follow along because we're going to be looking at the combo right now. Once again, I have for you a one-card combo. This set is just absurd, and I think this is probably the most absurd out of all the archetypes. We're going to be starting off with Normal of Ice Raziel, which can special summon Sword Raziel from the deck. Um, the name has changed. It's Raziel, actually, in the TCG, but it's pretty similar. Now, on summon, we can add a Light Pyro Monster from the deck, which, of course, can summon itself by sending a rank 4 Xyz um, just sending one Xyz monster from the extra to the graveyard. So this is how you can use the mirror logic aggregator that we saw before. You just send an Xyz, special summon it, just another extender. Now, um, we can also add uh, Sword Raziel here, and then we're going to be ranking up, and this rank up can be to any rank 4, right? Here you can put your Dweller, your Tornado Dragon, your Baguska, Whatever, you probably not Baguska in this deck, but whatever you need, you can place right here. Now we have targeting protection with Karen Gorgon, but this is just a free rank four in addition to your combo. We're going to be special summoning the Sword Raziel because we can't. We have our Raziel monster on field and in graveyard. Summon, do a drive, activate the affected detach from grave, and then detach two to add two Raziels with different names. We're going to be summoning the node here um, by sending the do drive to the graveyard. And then we're going to be ranking up after summoning back from the grave the Raziel. We're going to be ranking up into Dead Nader here. Now, on summon, Dead Nader can attach from the graveyard. And at the end of the combo, we can draw a card by shuffling two directly to the deck. This is the combo. One card combo, you have four other hand traps in hand. You have any rank four in the game that you want right here. And then you have three target pops right? This is the deck. Super, super simple. Now imagine a deck like this is basically Kashtira, right? You had Kashtira, Arise Heart, banishing everything on the field. You just protect the boss. And this is basically the same with Detonator here. You have Detonator to pop three. You have probably four other hand traps in hand. And then you have an additional rank four, which could be whichever rank four you want. My personal opinion is that this deck is boring. This deck is so boring, like rank four, summon, 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 rank four, pass. 25 hand traps in deck. Nobody wants this really, I think. But at the end of the day, I think this is like, sort of like a breeding ground maybe for experimentation with other things. I hope this doesn't just see play as a hand trap floodgate turbo, because this is sort of what it is. But now you know what are the possibilities with Raziel. Very, very simple. This is going to be probably your easiest combo tutorial so far. Leave your thoughts in below about this deck. Like the video. Don't forget to hit the bell to get notified when a new video comes up. This is going to be the conclusion of Crossover Breakers. I hope you enjoyed this series. I really want to do another series for Rage of the Abyss, which is going to be coming a lot sooner than this of the new archetype. So leave your comments below to let me know if I even should. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.